people ask, where do you get your ideas? Right here. Oh, this is my magician's toy shop. This is guest in room 2426, Martin Decker, theoretical biochemist. Checked in for observation a week ago. It seems he was displaying antisocial behavior, wrong thinking, and other intellectual crimes against the state. Diagnosis? Schizophrenia, curable only by intense therapy sessions, followed by a full confession and disclosure of the facts. Once cured, Martin will be released or buried. I'm on site at Stars' Lamissary. Good. We're getting ready here. I'm just running the retrospectives and they look great. Roll tape. Burning rainforests, smog alerts, gridlocked cities, seabirds caked with oil. That's how it was, ladies and gentlemen, as we entered the 90s. And with few exceptions, things became even more bleak. It seemed... I have a feeling we'll be seeing a breakthrough in this therapy soon. How are you feeling? It's none of your damn business. Yeah, let's have a look. He is not fit to be released as yet. He needs another treatment. Or two. It seemed we were doomed until 100 years ago, in the year 2000, when Craig Bennett Stiles became the first and only man to travel through time. And what he said and showed us upon his return has changed the history of the world. simple by telling us where to find the notebooks. Notebooks? What notebooks? Are you in position, Roger? Yeah, on my way. I'll do the intro live at the entrance to the Lamissary. You can cut to the first retro after that. Are the international hookups ready? We're ready. 15 minutes to sighting. Tokyo is now online. There's Moscow now. Oh, dear. We're going to have to start all over again. Ah! 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 
run out box. <laughs> you'll, you'll never see them. You're willing to suffer for a few sheets of paper, a few chickens. Hi, Sam. New York's on three. We hear you very clearly. Standing by. Mr. Shumway. What is it? It's Mr. Stiles. What is it? What's wrong? Has something happened to Stiles? No, he gave me this. He wanted me to get it to you right away. What's up? What is it, Roger? Scratches and ink. What is it anyway? It's only a new way to kill grasshoppers. You make a little modification here, a little adjustment there, and then you can annihilate millions of human beings. Then why did you do the research if you never intended to use it? I'm a scientist. You wouldn't understand. Sam, you're not going to believe this. Styles has asked to see me. I've got the remote one crew with me. You prepare the feed. Great. We're ready here. Rome, do you read me? There's been a change in plans. Stand this, but there are people who believe that ideas have an innate, intrinsic value. Oh, well, we believe that ideas have value. Values when applied to the service of the state. You see, until then, they're just worthless, abstract. Mr. Stiles. Roger Shumway. This is an unexpected honor. I've waited a long time for this day. Yes. Not a minute too soon. Come along. Mr. Stiles, you haven't granted any interviews since just after your trip to the future a hundred years ago. What made you decide to break your silence today? No, it's a very... Theoretical equations. Now, come, Dr. Decker. Surely you must have known how this might be put to use. I was blinded by the research grants and the awards and my pride in my work. Special day, young man. When I learned you were here, I knew I wanted you to tell my story. Oh. I'm flattered. Well, you have a reputation for telling the truth. That's the way I want you to report Craig Bennett's style. Just the truth. It'll be my pleasure, sir. You're very young, aren't you? I'm 35. <laughs> I'm... 135. Yeah, only a day over a hundred. I thought of the bacteria as a way to wage war on famine and hunger. But then I realized, in your hands, it would be just a way to wage war don't have a right to knowledge like that. That's where you're wrong. Under it, do I? <laughs> Help yourself. Uh, no, thank you. Uh, Mr. Stiles, could we get you over here? It'll give us the sea, sky, the air behind you. Reflects the legacy you've given us. Yes, of course. Tell Dr. Decker, we have a right to all knowledge. Why don't you just... Write down the processes. It'll save us all a lot of trouble, and you a lot of pain. I couldn't do it if I wanted to. The process took me. Just tell us where you hit. Tell me, how do you think you're going to feel at four o'clock today, when your younger self arrives from the past? For a brief moment, you're going to exist as two people: the man you are, and the man you were when your time machine came into the year 2100. All in good time, Mr. Shumway. You shall have your story all. In good time. Ready, camera two. Cut to Roger's room. Mm, the books. I see this is going to be a useless discussion any further. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Roger Shumway, and this is World Vision News coming to you direct from the grounds of the Lamissary, the home and laboratory of Craig Bennett Stiles. Today, Mr. Stiles has granted us an exclusive interview and has promised to make a major announcement to the peoples of the world. Mr. Stiles, it's our pleasure to be here. That's, that's totally wrong. Oh, come on, Martin. You know, your pragmatism blinds you. There are many things which are important yet cannot be measured in any scientific way. Avery, it was you that taught me pragmatic and to insist on empirical data as a scientist yes but as a human being it is also your job to be with you here today thank you mr shumway peoples of the world i salute you mr styles your name 
has been a household word to all of us since the year 2000. Yet, shortly after your successful trip into the future, you went into seclusion. To dream, to believe, to be committed to great truths besides oh, the physical laws. What truths? That knowledge is power, that there is inherent value in the human life, and that great thoughts do not come from a mind in shackles. But what about Gandhi? He did his best thinking in prison. Why? Not at first, Mr. Shumway. No, I traveled around the world. I met with world scientists. I lectured. I wrote and published my book. But shortly after that, you went into retirement here. <laughs> yes, but I've been very busy as an architect trying to help rebuild. Only his body was imprisoned. His mind was free. I made for you. The future that I saw as a very young man, just about your age, in fact, when I arrived in that golden tomorrow. Stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen, as World Vision News covers the flight of the time machine from New Zealand to Moscow and back. And the Craig Bennett Styles here with us today watches him. as a young man who flashed into the future and changed the world. Roger Shumway, ladies and gentlemen, back with the World Vision News presentation of the 100th anniversary of Craig Bennett Stiles' trip into the future. Craig Bennett Stiles, the man of mystery. Mr. Shumway, I'm sure your audience is eager to see the time machine. Shall we? Mr. Stiles, how do you think you will react when, just moments from now, you watch yourself, in effect, flash across the sky in your trip through time? Gratitude and love. It is me, isn't it? There isn't any more. Till morning. What? You gave me the last? Yeah, that's all I'm going to be able to give you. You're on your own now. No idea. It's going to be this hard. It gets worse. So. We're heading now to Mr. Starr's laboratory to become the first people since the year 2000 to see the time machine. But before we do, let's go back to that moment 100 years ago when Craig Bennett Stiles brought back pictures of the world. What'd you do to get thrown in here? Sleep with some bureaucrat's wife. <sighs> Wish you would have thought of that. That would have been the easy way. But I like the image of the outsider fighting against impossible odds. As it was to be, a world completely changed. A world that had conquered the ecological chaos of the late 20th century. There's one thing I've often wondered. Yes? <laughs> Did no one see you as you passed overhead in the year 2000? Kind of like you. What do you know about me? A lot. In a sense, we're brothers. You're not my brother. You don't know anything about me. 100? Well, today, actually. Didn't anyone at all happen to look up in Chicago, New York, Paris? I wasn't expected, you know. <laughs> and if anybody saw, they would have known what they were looking at. I didn't linger. I just had time to photograph the rebuilt cities and the smog-free air. I'm... I know enough. Oh, really?
who sent you. Friends, your sacrifice has not gone unnoticed. You will have allies who think as you do. Fortified nation, abundance of wildlife that has been saved from the brink of extinction. Mm. Today, on the other hand, uh, millions and millions of people are focusing their eyes upon the sky, waiting for your time machine to whip across the horizon. I know, Mrs. Shumway, I know. Oh, I'm sorry, gentlemen. I'm here to help you escape. Escape? You're a fool. The security at this so-called hospital is notorious. No one gets over the walls. Oh, yes, the walls, of course. Forgive me, but only Mr. Shumway. Only you. going on? I don't know. But I'll give you pictures as soon as I can. Ten minutes to sighting. Okay, Sam. I'm gonna get this on the camcord. There are other ways. I can help you escape safely. Uh -huh. how, how do we do this? We fly. Your skepticism doesn't surprise me. And you will find it hard to believe that I've been trained to use my mind in a different way than you. I can go anywhere I want to. 3.45 and counting, ladies and gentlemen. Almost time for that great paradox, the arrival of the time machine. And departure, Mr. Shumway. It's a pass-through, actually. You're right. I'm sorry. <clears throat> that moment of arrival and... No walls can contain me. I think Dr. Ostroff has given you one too many treatments. Go ahead, laugh. But teletransportation is a reality. Transportation. Teletransportation is the fevered fantasy. In departure, when, in the blink of an eye, by stepping across time, Craig Bennett Stiles changed our lives forever. From night to day, from dark to light. Are you ready, Mr. Stiles? Let's show our audience the machine that made it all possible. ...of a very disturbed I happen to be locked up. You're a lunatic. It does sound ridiculous, doesn't it? Yes, yes. Uh, that sums it up very well. Behold. The Toynbee. Rather nice. She looked like she could conquer time. Is it so ridiculous to think that men can transport themselves with the powers of their minds when they already use a simple beam of light to carve holes in granite and knock satellites from the sky? Shining a beam of light from here to there is very different from teletransporting matter. Is it? She sure does. This is it. Mr. Decker, the doctor will see you now. Photographic units, multiple rotating lens systems, laser chart, Mapping devices, vertical rise stabilizers, horizontal flow forward, regress, and return. In short, the Toynbee convector. Why Toynbee? I named it after Arnold Toynbee, the great historian. I'm sorry? He's not known to you? No, I'm afraid not. 
It was Toynbee who said, if a people, a civilization, does not rush to meet the future. I can't, I can't believe we're here. See how simple it is? It's been so long, I, I forgot what the real world was like. The future will plow them under, kill and bury them. Well, I saw the future rushing at me. And it entered my heart and seized my soul. It didn't frighten me, it obsessed me. I had to conquer time, save mankind. I understand you, Mr. Stiles. You will, Mr. Shumway, presently. You will. Sam, let's go for the world review now. Roll tape. If only you could have been there, Mr. Shumway, when I came back. <laughs> it was magnificent. Where are the notebooks? Are there copies? Where are the notebooks? Where did you hide them? Are there copies? Turn it up. Where are the notebooks? Are there notebooks? The people's response to my return and to the message I brought, <laughs> it exceeded my wildest dreams. I said, peoples of the earth, I have traveled to a far place. I have photographed. Tell me about the girl. She was very beautiful. She sat right next to me. I could almost touch her. Uh, I don't want to think about it. It was a drug-induced trap. The years beyond tomorrow. And now you will see your future. Here are the tapes that will show you your future. What did I see? What is my verdict? Is there hope? We made it. You did it. Another one of Dr. Ostroff's tricks. We can't let him beat us. Let's finish our chess game. Maybe that'll keep us focused. The future is ours. We cleaned and made fresh the air we breathe. We replanted the forests, reclaimed the oceans, the lakes, and the rivers, replenished the dolphins and the whales. From space, we lit our world. Bishop to Queen Four. Bishop takes pawn. Bishop takes pawn, your move. A rook to king seven, check. Right. Good move. We colonized the moon, made landfall next to the great red canyon of Mars. And now we send our rockets to Alpha Centauri. 30 seconds to sighting. We did it. Brothers and sisters, we did it. Our futures bright and beauteous spot. Night. Tonight. I can't. I just can't see the board anymore. Fires arise. Countdown. Ten. Ready, count okay, one, Roger, nine. the money's on the ready, sky. Ready, ready, Remote three, one seven, will try eight, and get a two six, shot three, of you and the old five, man on the balcony. We're ready, four, Samantha. Three, two, one. Nothing. <coughs> I want to help you, friend. But I'm not sure I can hold out much longer. Go. 
go. You can go take a walk on the beach or spend the night at... Nothing. <sighs> Still nothing. Just the clouds. Some woman's arms. Go! Leave me alone! I can't. I have a mission. Unless I get you out of here, I failed. You are not the only one with convictions, you know. Oh, you idiot. They've gotten to you. They're making you believe these damn dreams. They're a loop. Nothing. Why? I lied. You what? I lied. Illusions. Let them go. It's you they've gotten to. You've lost your faith. Your imagination. I can get us out of here. Look, we can be free. Just answer me this. Why didn't you just appear here in the first place? Why were you physically thrown in? I can't believe it. There is no time machine, Mr. Shumway. Just something that looks like one, and I never went anywhere. I just made it seem so. For them, for the people who run this place. I knew you'd be hard to convince, and I knew I'd have to spend time here. But Martin, I can't do it alone. To get you out of here, I need your cooperation, your faith, your belief. Just. I don't want to share in your... My time has come, Mr. Shumway. Time for the truth. You see, I was born and raised in the 70s and the 80s when people had stopped believing in themselves. Sanity. Everywhere was despair, disillusionment, rampant skepticism. And our environment was a cesspool. We went to bed at night, to bad news at 11, and woke up in the morning to worse news. I saw this despair and was moved. To... Let's just say for a moment that I believe. How do you do it? How do you transcend matter? Like all great truths, it's profound and simple. You believe with all of your being that you're in another place than you are. Just like that? Only if you truly believe. Pressed and then angered by it. We had dug our own graves prepared to lie down on them. And you couldn't allow that? No. I was a scientific whiz kid. My credentials were impeccable. When I spoke, people listened. But when... What does it feel like? It's kind of hard to describe. It's, it's uh, kind of, uh, well, the closest thing I can think of, it's, it's, it's like falling asleep, feeling weightless. What if something at least you won't be here. I spoke of these things. No one listened. So you got the idea of the Toynbee convector? Yes, but it took time. For years I brooded on it. I was in complete despair. And then one night, 
I was rereading H.G. time machine and then it struck me Eureka I cried I found it this is my blueprint so you staged the whole thing every step at first Fine. Construct the perfect world. I actually constructed tiny architectures against crystal water skies. I talked to dolphins, I played with whales, I faked tapes, I fabricated films. A room above a boulevard. A safe place. Until I was sure that it was safe to publicly announce my departure into the perfect future. And then I invited every important scientist, heads of state, all the news media to attend. But how could you fool all those people? How did you do it? Hmm? What is this place? A safe house. can't run the risk of your being seen from the street. I simply climbed into the convector. And... Smoke and mirrors, Mr. Shumway, smoke and mirrors. And then I return. Reed, there are more lives at stake than just yours. Come sit down. I'll have a cup of tea. First time's always a little disorienting. Why'd you do that? And when I returned, the world was waiting for me. And they believed you. Every word. They wanted to believe. They did. And because they believed, they made it. What happened? A golden age. Built on a lie. You don't understand, do you, son? Every one of us lives our life lying to ourselves. We weave dreams and then put brains and ideas and flesh and reality beneath the dreams. And what seemed to... In the mechanics of this, it has to be some kind of biochemical energy exchange. How do you work it? You made it work. Yes, I did, didn't I? But how? In due time. Sit down. We have more important business. What could be more important than a scientific breakthrough like this? The notebooks. We've got to destroy them. Of course, I'll have to go and get them. No, no. That would be too risky. It's broad daylight out there. Well, I'll wait until nightfall. No, it can't wait. Tell me where they are and I'll get them. No, it's first to be a lie. It's just a need, wishing to be born. What were you going to do about the flyby today? Press another button. And a three-dimensional holographic image 
on laser beams flash across the sky. Too important to trust anybody with. Besides, what if somebody sees you? Ah, me, I'm nobody. I'm a mere flea on the back of the system. But you, you're known. You're a real threat. Uh, by now, your picture's been circulated. Every cop in the corner knows who you are. All right. All right, uh, give me a pencil. Simulation of the Toynbee Convector. The final illusion. Gigantic hoax. But a triumphant one. So, why the truth? Now? I don't need the lie anymore. It's become the truth. The people. You have to go to the university. And you go to this room in the biochemistry building. And behind the lectern in the wall is a false panel. People did this. They have reclaimed their world. And now, anything is possible. In the last 100 years, we have crossed many new frontiers because we saw the wonder that lay in the future. the end of the journey it's just the beginning it's the first few steps of a triumphant march to many frontiers far beyond the universe is ours it young man and here is the full history of my splendid fraudulence take it take it all hand it on I nominate you as son to explain good work Hardly a challenge. He's ideal. And the father. Godspeed. century. I've got Styles' announcement. Just... Uh... He's gone. There's no sight of him. Close all the exits. Just give me a moment, huh? Roger, I've got Brenner on saying there's a four-minute shift every hundred years. Now, is that what went wrong? So just give me 30 seconds. Mr. Stiles? I understand that if he's not found, you will be held fully responsible. But it was just a trick.
As man has progressed, up from the mud and down from the trees, his best tool has always been logical thought. That tool has taken it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sad to report that... ...as in a grand arc, from the first flint against steel to the apocalypse of colliding atoms. What Martin Decker, man of science, has learned is that every once in a while, we must step out of the confines of logic and take a leap of faith into the twilight zone. Just moments ago, Craig Bennett Stiles passed away, but not before leaving his final message to the world. In the last 100 years, we have crossed many new frontiers because we saw the wonder that lay in the future. But today... not the journey's end. No, it's just the beginning. The first few steps of a triumphant march, we now lift our eyes to frontiers far beyond the future. The universe is ours. Behold, the young man who changed the world arrives. Civilization that does not run to seize the future and shape it is doomed to die with the past.